right, I have my cleaning tools here. I have a set of brass um, cleaning rods here for my pistol, and I need a longer set for my rifle. So I got an aluminum Hoppies, Hoppies brand cleaning rod set. But here's something I just recently discovered when cleaning out my new CZ Precision rifle. Look at this. So I'm gonna take a clean cleaning patch here, and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of rem oil on it. And you can use any kind of cleaning oil, whether you use a, a CLP or, what, or rem oil or whatever. And I'm just going to rub this cleaning rod. And this is a clean cleaning rod. As you can see, it's not like it's fouled or anything. But check this out. Look at that. Here, I'll even do it again. I'll do it again. Take some rem oil. Spray that down. Okay. I'm just going to rub this cleaning rod. Look at that! That is just... This, if the camera would focus. There we go. Look at that. And this is from a clean cleaning rod. Now I'm not now I'm not claiming that this is fouling your bore, but it's just kind of strange that um, this is it's picking up or it's made, there's some sort of chemical reaction with the aluminum. I don't know. Um, I can't imagine that it's picking up a lot of of uh, carbon on here. I mean, look at this. These are these aren't these aren't black, but we're picking up essentially black marks on these uh, cleaning patches. So it makes me wonder how often um, are we creating visual soot when we are using aluminum rods? I don't know. If you know why um, this is happening, why there might be some sort of chemical reaction, um, is it the ram oil that's doing that? We'll find out. Here, let me just take a patch, a dry patch, and run it on here. I don't know if you've ever experienced this. Let me know in the comments here. All right, I'm gonna just rub. This is a dry patch. So I'm just going to rub this aluminum rod. Same thing. And yeah, it, it doesn't matter if you, let's hope this thing focuses. Come on, focus. There we go. Not as dark, but still um, noticeable uh, using a dry patch. So it's definitely not the ram oil, or at least not the ram oil by itself. Um, it's definitely rubbing off stuff from these um, aluminum rods. And it's only in the aluminum rods. I tried it on the brass rods. Uh, no problem here. I'll even do it right. I'll do it, do it right here. I'll grab a dry patch, take one of these brass rods, and rub it. I know maybe it is some sort of chemical reaction from the heat. If it is, then it should show up on this brass rod. A little bit, a little bit, hmm. But not nearly as significant as this aluminum rod. So, I don't know. I mean, okay, if, and you might say, well, maybe it's picking up some leftover a soot from from just not cleaning it. I don't know. Let's try again. Let me rub this. This is the same one, same place as before. All right. And now, I mean, unless I really, um, yeah, I, I I don't know what to say. So if you happen to know what's causing this um, this fouling of these. Uh, of these cleaning patches on um, these uh, four cleaning rods. Let me know in the comments. And uh, if this was interesting and uh, a surprise to you, uh, please let me know in the comments as well. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, well, thanks again for watching and hopefully we'll figure out what's going on with these uh, ghost dirty patches on our cleaning rods. You be safe out there. Moondog out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. 
And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com. 